right. It is time to go live. So <laughs> welcome everybody. Good to see you here. Um, great to see you again on a Wednesday. <laughs> I completely blanked. I, I got back late last night yesterday. Uh, it was like 1 a.m. Uh, I was in Florida with my kids for, for a sailing regatta. So it was a, a national regatta and the kids participated. There were 81 boats. And uh, so I just got back late last night. Uh, by the way, uh, before we get started, because I promise you today, I want to show you my personal trading routine. I want to show you exactly how I pick the best stocks to trade, um, how I determine when to enter, how I determine when to exit, and I'll walk you through all of this. Um, but before we do this, so I'm just curious, would you like to see uh, what I'm doing on the weekends when I am at these sailing regattas with my kids? If you want to see it, uh, type in a quick yes in the chat box. And I can show you a quick uh, clip that I took while being out there on my phone. So if you want to see this, uh, all right, good. <laughs> it's also interesting. I uh, I figured out that there is a, a 35 second delay between when you're typing something and I'm seeing it. <laughs> so no idea why. Thanks, YouTube. Probably a setting that I'll figure out, but hey. All right, let me show you um, what exactly it looks like when I'm out on the water with my kids. So this is, let me just uh, play here. Quick video clip. Okay, here we go. So on the very far right, that is my daughter uh, with the skipper uh, James. And then here in the middle with the red, white and blue, that is my son Julius. They are crossing the finish line here. So this is the, the final, um, they're crossing the finish line right there. See, I'm out on the water with them, uh, watching the races, helping uh, the, the coach to, to hand out. I'm, I'm not a coach. I'm an assistant to the coach. I'm not even an assistant coach. So on the left here, there's my, my daughter Vivian with James. And on the right, there's uh, Lucy and Julius. Okay, uh, well, so short clip, but yeah, this is where you see the boats that they're in. So rather small boats, but uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, they did really well. It was a regatta of uh, 81 boats and they finished 11th. Julius was 11th and uh, Vivian was 18th. Anyhow, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> so um, I actually have prepared a few things for you that I want to share with you here today. So let's actually jump over. Look at this to today's agenda. There we go. So over the next 45 minutes, because that's what I said, we want to spend here 45 minutes together. I want to show you, uh, yeah, I need to click here. Number one, I want to show you the three keys to trading success. The three things that you need to know and master if you want to succeed in trading. Then I will show you exactly how I personally find the best stocks to trade. I'll show you a, a stock that I traded this morning, actually. I'll show you a few stocks that I traded recently. So many examples here. Um, I will walk you through my trading routine. And when I'm trading stocks and options, it's only 15 minutes a day. And uh, today you'll see exactly why that is. And uh, then towards the end of our time here together, I will have a very special offer for you. So just that you know, no surprises here. I do have a software, as you know, the PowerX Optimizer. I do have a very special offer for you. So this will be towards the end of our time here together. But uh, first, let's go through the first three things here. So let's get started with the three keys to trading success. Here are the three things that you need to master. Number one, you need to know what stock or option to trade. After all, right now there's a, around 11,000 stocks traded here in the United States alone. And then we have uh, stocks traded in Canada, stocks traded in Australia and Europe, all over the world, right? So you need to know out of all these 11,000 stocks, what is the stock that you should trade? And hint, it's not Tesla. We'll talk about Tesla here in a moment. It's not Apple. We'll talk about Apple. It's not Target. We'll talk about Target anyhow. So number one, you need to figure out a way of how to find the best stock to trade. Number two, 
you need to know exactly when to enter, right? And number three, you need to know when to exit. And when it comes to exiting, there's two things that you need to determine when to exit with a profit and when to exit with a loss. Now think about it. If you knew these three things, th that's all you need. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm baffling myself here a little bit because that's really the key to trading success. And everything that you know about trading is trying to answer these three questions. Now, let's get started and let's talk about what stock or option to trade. So what to trade? There's different uh, different ways how you can go above it or right? uh, go about it, right? You you can uh, rely on on hot stock tips, and uh, you know these hot stock tips uh, they they pop up in your email. Might be a newsletter that uh, somebody is asking you to subscribe to, right? It it might be the talking heads on TV. Don't know if you're watching uh, TV, if you're watching CNN or where, where's Kramer? What is the mad money guy Kramer, right? I mean. Uh, is he giving you the right stocks or is it from a from a friend who is telling you, oh my gosh, I have the hot stock tip here. I know exactly what you should do. And you know, none of this really works <laughs> as you have probably figured out. I don't know about you, but I mean, it all happened to me in the very beginning of my trading career. I was relying on newsletters. I was relying on the talking heads on, on TV. I, I was relying on friends and none of this worked. And you see, then then I tried the fundamental analysis. And what, what does this mean? Fundamental analysis is just a way how you look at stocks to see whether it makes sense to invest in them. Uh, as an example, Tesla, right? I mean, when it comes to fundamental analysis, you would look at the, the business model, you would look at the deliveries, you would look at the sales number, you would look at the profitability, you will look at the earnings per share. So there's a lot of things that need to be analyzed. And honestly, for me, this is way too complicated. And this is why I personally use technical analysis. And I'm going to show you here in just a moment what that is. Because for me, see, we said we'll have coffee here together. See, I have my favorite mug. Let me just uh, for a moment come back to you on the screen here. See, it says here Rockwell trading and then on the other side it says trade what you see not what you think right because what whatever i think is going on with tesla whatever i think is going on with apple whatever i think is going on with uber airbnb beyond meat it doesn't really matter right i i figured out i need to be as objective as possible in order to make the right decisions let's have a coffee together so good to see you all here um uh, Really glad that we're spending a, a few minutes here together. And again, I, I promise that uh, I'll, I'll no fluff here, all content. So uh, let me just show you. So when it comes to technical analysis, right? So that's uh, that's the next uh, the next idea here is we need to know exactly when to enter. And uh, you see, should you enter? Should you buy a stock now? Is now the best time, or should you do it later? And again, this is the question that technical analysis answers for you. So let me show you exactly what that means. I'm uh, pulling up your chart on tradingview.com. Doesn't matter. Any charting software will help you with technical analysis. Now, I personally like to rely on three indicators. And you see them on the bottom of the screen here. These are the squiggly lines. You see right now the Dow Jones today is up again, uh, what, 0.4%, 115 points after... Uh, having a down day yesterday, uh, but right now we are up. Now, here's what these squiggly lines do. These are called indicators, and they help me to determine whether a stock is more likely to go up, down, or sideways. So let me very briefly explain to you what this is. The first one is the RSI. And here's the deal. So the RSI is going from 0 to 100, and what I want to see uh, is an RSI above 50, as you can see right here, because whenever the RSI is above 50, it is more likely for a stock to go up. Now, the next one here is the stochastics. And uh, the stochastics here is also going between 0 and 100, right? It's an oscillator. And what I want to see is, is it above 50? Because when it is above 50, it is more likely for a market or a stock to go up. 
Now the last one here is the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. And you see it comes with two, two squiggly lines. We had one squiggly line here, one squiggly line here. Now we have two squiggly lines. <laughs> that is actually the correct technical interpretation of indicators. Now, I mean, you get the idea. I, I just want to keep it here as simple as possible because here's the deal. I believe that many people and also many traders are making trading way too complicated. I want to show you today uh, an easy way to, to trade, right? Uh, to find the right stock to trade, to know exactly when to enter and to know exactly when to exit. So with the MACD, you want to see that the purple line, uh, which is the MACD, is above the orange line, which is its signal line. So, and here's what I personally like to do. I like to see that all these three are above 50 here, above 50 here, and that the purple line is above the orange line. When that is happening, this is when it is more likely for a stock to go up. So let me just uh, show you very specific example. We talked about Tesla, right? I mean, Tesla right now skyrocketing. I mean, on its way to a thousand. Okay, so how can we know? How can we know that Tesla is about to explode? Well, we look at the indicators and you see right here on December 12th, on December 12th, right here, we see that the RSI was above 50 and the stochastics was above 50 and the purple line was above the orange line. So on December 12th, we know that it is more likely for this stock to go up. Now, let me ask you this. If you knew on December 12th that this would have happened when the stock was at $366 and you would have entered, would you be a happy camper right now? Absolutely, right? So is right now a good time to enter? I personally like to buy a stock the first time this happens, when we have uh, the RSI above 50, when we have the stochastics above 50, and the MACD above the purple line. Now, here's what I did. For me personally, it is easier to see it on this software, the PowerX Optimizer. I want to bring up Tesla here. So. See, it was a little bit difficult for me to, to see these squiggly lines. And this is why I asked a development team to program this software for me and say, okay, when the RSI is above 50, make it green. And when the stochastics is above 50, make it green. And also when the MACD is above its signal line, make it green. And then I just wanted to see, the first day when all these three were green, which was right here on December 12th, December 13th, I actually want to color the chart green, right? See, it's all about keeping it easy. And this is why I no longer look at the indicators. See, this is where here on, I said December 12th, December 13th, December 16th here, actually. This is exactly when all these three indicators said that Tesla is more likely to go up. And boy, did it, right? <laughs> so um, before we move on and I'll show you more examples, is this making sense thus far? Is this helpful? If it does, uh, just click on like, uh, because this way it's the easiest for me because on the screen, when you all type yes, it, it's, it's flying by so quickly. So if you just could just click on like, um, that, uh, that would be awesome because this way I know that this is making sense and then we can continue. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask away. This is why we have a coffee here together where we talk about it, chat about it. All right, so seems that thus far we're all in agreement. Now, there's a question. Uh, let me see if I can actually bring this question up here. Oh, look at this, I can do it. So, um, I'm in, I'm in LV. <laughs> it's asking why both, both RSI and stochastics? Here's the deal. It's a great question. Let me actually go back to, uh, to here. If you only look at one indicator, you sometimes get false signals. And you see, this is one of the, the biggest mistakes that traders made. I made it in the beginning. I was looking for the one indicator that is the holy grail. Think about it this way. It's like 
standing on one leg. You're a little bit wobbly, right? You want to have a second indicator to, to confirm the first indicator, like a, like a second opinion, right? And I personally found that the three indicators are actually the, the magic number. Because with three indicators, you have two indicators confirming the one. So you basically have a, a triple confirmation and therefore a higher accuracy. Is this making sense? Okay, good. So let me see. I can probably easily remove it here, but great question. So uh, let's take a look at this. So could we have also captured other trends earlier? Yeah, if you if you look at this, I, I want to zoom in here a little bit that we can better see it. See, for example, with Tesla, there was a signal to buy it on October 11th for $250. And then went all the way up to look at this, 359. And then the green stopped, right? I mean, this is this is why this is so great. It, it just improves the accuracy. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Let's take a look at a, another few examples. For example, Apple, right? The question is, right now, so let me ask you this. Right now, is Apple a good buy? Let's take a look at this. So for Apple, right now we see black bars. Black bars, what does it mean? Let's go back here. So it means that right now we have one indicator that is above, another one that is above, and a third one that is below. So only two out of three indicators is correct. And you see, it's for me a little bit difficult to see right here. And this is why I like to use my PowerX Optimizer makes it so easy because whenever something is black, it means that only two out of the three indicators are right. And this basically means that the market hasn't decided yet or the stock if it wants to continue to go up. You see here, you see very, very clearly on October 8th, this is when Apple gave us a clear signal that now it is more likely for the stock to go up because now all three indicators confirmed that uh, th that it uh, <laughs> they, they all confirmed each other. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, and then at this point here, at around November twentieth, this is when you see that Apple was just going sideways. So it took a little bit longer, and then Apple broke out again. And this is a good thing. These days, commissions are what zero dollars. So you can stay on the sidelines here and wait until you have a clear signal. And Apple is going up again. Making sense? <laughs> okay, good. And um, so let's see. Uh, there are a few questions. And uh, so a great question here. Um, let me just see. Half a white guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Half a white guy. It's asking if all are below 50, is this an indicator to short the stock? Absolutely. Let me just uh, go to another, um, let's go look at another example, Target, okay? So whenever you see, here's Target, whenever you see that all three are below 50, this is when it is more likely for a stock to go down. Now that's a beautiful thing. You see, with, with indicators, they're objective, right? I mean, with indicators, there's no guesswork because either they're above or they're below. So half a white guy, you're absolutely right. When we are looking at the indicators and they're all pointing down below 50, then it is more likely for a stock to go down. So right now for Target, it is more likely to go up. Okay, good. So making it super, super, super easy here to know exactly when to enter. Okay, so let's, let's go back to here is what we said. We, we have three questions, right? The first one is what stock to trade? And we're getting to this in a moment. The second question that I will promise to answer here today is when exactly to enter. So is this helpful thus far? Is this making sense that you use these three indicators and when all three indicators are above 50, that's when you buy and when they're below, that's when you sell. If only two out of these three indicators are giving you a direction, it means stay on the sideline, sit on your hands and wait until you get confirmation from the third indicator. Okay, if this makes sense thus far, give me a quick like because then I want to move on and talk about when to exit. But are we all good on when to enter? Give me a like. And uh, by the way, 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do that now. There's a little subscribe button because when you do, oh, also hit the little bell because when you do, you get a notification whenever I go live and do more educational videos like this, right? And teach you, show you what I do uh, or, or some other videos that I might have recorded, pre-recorded whenever I release a video, you get automatically a notification. Okay, good. So where's the like button? That is a great question. There should be a like button somewhere here. Underneath probably. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. It seems that uh, so far we're on the same page. So let's talk now about the third question that you need to answer. Again, the three main questions when it comes to trading is what stock or option should I trade? Number two, when to enter? And number three, when to exit? Now, when to exit, first of all, never risk more than 2% of your account on any given trade. So if you want to trade Tesla and you have a $10,000 account, do not risk more than $200. And here's why. If you think about it, if you risk only 2% of your account and you are wrong 10 times in the row, how much do you lose? 10 times 2% means that you're only losing 20% of your account. Live to trade another day super important. See, most traders, they make the mistake that they bet all on black or all on red. It's like betting the whole account on one stock. Don't do this. Smart position sizing is if you never risk more than 2% of your account on any given trade. And I'll show you in a few moments how exactly you can calculate this, right? So that you know exactly how much or how many shares you should trade so that you never risk more than 2%. So if you have a $10,000 account, $200. If you have a $5,000 account, it would be 2% is $100. And if you have a $100,000 account, then 2% is $2,000. Get the idea, okay? So that's the first rule. The second rule about when to exit is the golden rule of one to two. Now keep in mind, when I said when to exit, we talked about when to exit with a loss because losses happen when trading and also you need to know when to take profits and this is what most traders don't know they say oh i'll take profits when i feel that the stock moved up enough and when is enough never never enough right so let me explain the golden rule the golden rule of one to two means that if you're risking a hundred dollars you want to make two hundred dollars or uh, if you're risking $200, you want to make $400. Get the idea? So depending on how much you risk, never risk more than 2% of your account on any given trade. So if you have a $100,000 account and you risk $2,000, try to make $4,000. Because here's the cool thing. When you apply the golden rule, you'll make money even if you're wrong half of the time. Let me show you. Let's say you have 10 trades. And let's say you have a $10,000 account. And on these 10 trades, half of them are losing trades. So you have five losses. Now on these five losing trades, you lose five times $200 means that you're losing $1,000. Out of a $10,000 account, you still have enough money to trade. That's why it's so important to limit your losses. Now, on the other hand, on the five wins, you make twice as much money as you risked. So, if you risk $200, you're trying to make $400. So on five winning trades, you make five times 400 is $2,000. So how much do you make after, after 10 trades? Type it in, type it in through the comments. How much is left after 10 trades? <laughs> exactly, $1,000. So you had five losing trades, five winning trades. You were only at right half of the time and yet you make money. That is the power of the golden rule. So again, a quick summary, and uh, then we'll continue. And again, if this is helpful, make sure that you like it, because this way it's easiest for me to, to see that you're enjoying this video, and uh, then I'm motivated to do more of these videos, right? So make sure that you hit like. Okay, good. Um, let's summarize really quick. Question number one is how to find the best stocks. Question number two is when to enter. And we talked about it. We talked about the three indicators here, um, RSI, Stochastics, and MACD. And uh, 
Question number three is when to exit. And again, we talked about it. Never is more than 2%. And the golden rule is if you risk 2%, try to make 4%, right? I mean, go for one to two. So we, we, we skipped a little bit over out how to find the best stock to trade, right? And uh, so let, let's go back here. Let's back up a little bit and let's talk about this here for a moment. How do I personally find the best stocks to trade? Now, you see, the way how I like to trade is I want to make sure that when I'm trading a stock, I can make at least 60% RI per year. RI stands for return on investment. It basically means that I'm trying to make at least $6,000 on a $10,000 account. Now, as you know, the markets go up, I don't know, 4 or 5%. Last year it was 25%, maybe 29%. But my goal is that when I trade stocks that I make at least 60% per year. So this is one of the criteria. And the second criteria is when I trade a stock, it should be somewhat predictable, right? So meaning that I want to make sure that I know my risk and reward when getting in and that I'm pretty much achieving the returns that I'm looking for. So let me show you of how exactly I do this, because now we go to my personal trading routine and there's only three steps to my trading routine. Let's have a coffee. And uh, I see that you have a bunch of questions coming in here. I promise I'll answer hopefully all of your questions here. So we'll take care of this here in just a moment. But let me just go through this because some of the questions might get answered as I'm going through the few things that I've prepared for you here. So my personal trading routine here is number one, I am running a scanner and I'm showing you in a moment of how exactly I'm going to do this. Number two, I'm then checking the predictability of a stock because I mean, after all, I, I don't like to gamble. I like to know exactly what to expect when I'm trading a certain stock. I like to know what to expect when I'm trading Tesla. I like to know what to expect when I'm trading Apple. I like to know what to expect when I'm trading Target, right? And um, so I, I wanna see that there are no gaps and that they are nice and small trends because as a trader, that's what I'm capitalizing on. Nice and small trends to the upside and the downside because my horizon for holding a stock, my time horizon is five to 20 days. That's it. I don't like to hold a stock for years to come. I only hold it for five to 20 days. Okay. And uh, then number three, and that's what I do is I enter the trades and uh, so when to enter and then also the exits, the profit target and the stop loss. So now I want to show you exactly how I do this. So this is where I'm using the software. It's called PowerX Optimizer. It's the software where I invested more than $600,000. I think it's almost $700,000 right now to have it developed. Why? Because I couldn't find a software anywhere that is that powerful and does these three things for me. Find the right stock, shows me exactly when to enter, and shows me exactly when to exit. So every day, and I'm doing this after the markets are closed, I'm looking for stocks that meet my criteria. And my criteria are that I have at least 60%, I'm making this a little bit bigger so that's easier for you to see, um, at least 60% return on investment, meaning that I would make at least $6,000 on a $10,000 account in a year. Um, I like to trade stocks that are between five and $250. I do not like to trade penny stocks. It's a different story. We'll talk about it another day. Maybe next Wednesday. We'll see. So I want to see that the price between five and $250, a profit factor that is higher than three and a reward risk ratio that is higher than two. Why? Well, you already know the golden rule of one to two, right? For every dollar that I risk, I want to make at least $2. Okay. I want to also see that over the past year, I had 10 or no, actually 12 uh, trades when trading this stock and at least a winning percentage of 40%, meaning that at least four out of 10 trades should have been winning trades. 
I like to apply a volume filter of 200,000, making sure that at least 200,000 shares are being traded every single day. Now, after I run the scanner here, <clears throat> I receive the picks for the day. And you see out of 11,000 stocks, there are two that are left. One is NUS, okay? New Skin Enterprises. And again, if you go back to my trading routine right now, after running the scanner, I check the predictability of stocks. So I'm looking that there are no gaps. Why? Because when there are gaps, there's no more predictability. Let me, let me actually disappear here for a moment from the screen that I can show it to you. See, there was a gap right here. And there was another gap here. And another gap here. Another gap here on this end, right? So this is where, ma where it makes it super difficult. There we go. Here and here and here and here. This is when it becomes no longer predictable. This is when it becomes irrational. Now here's another stock that came up, uh, came up here today, and this was Trox, Tronox Limited. Now here again, we want to check for predictability. Want to make sure that there's no gaps. There's no gaps here. You see that? Beautiful. And you want to see that there's nice and small trends because that's the second criteria that I have. Nice small trends right here. And uh, see, yes, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, and to the downside. And this morning it gave me a buy signal. A buy signal to buy this stock at $9.43. Now, would you like to know? Let me come back to you here. Would you like to know how this stock did? So it gave me the buy signal. It's $9.43. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see where it is right now. So trucks look at this at nine dollars and 72 cents up three and a half percent for the day so already in the green that's fun now the question now is when do i sell it i mean this is how to enter right i mean that's what we talked about so i run the scanner check the predictability enter the trade so i enter and now where exactly would i exit again this is where power x optimizer helps me and says, okay, the ideal stop loss for this for this stock here is 73 cents. So meaning if I bought it at $9.43, let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. If it goes down to $8.70, I immediately sell. I'm out of there. And if it goes up to $14.42, that's when I'm taking profits. Now here, the risk reward is much higher than one to two. To be exact, it is one to 6.84. So for every dollar that I risk, I'm trying to make $6.84. Now here's the cool thing. I see here, if I had traded the stock with these settings, right? Whenever these three indicators are true, we talked about them earlier, and I would have risked 73 cents trying to make four dollars and 99 cents if i had established a ten thousand dollar position every time i got a signal over the past year i would have made seven thousand nine hundred and fifty nine dollars that's a 79.6 percent ri so there were eight winning trades eight losing trades so the winning percentage is 50 50 but you see i'm only uh, the average loss is only $395 and the average win is way, way higher. We'll, we'll get back to the numbers here in just a moment. <clears throat> okay, anyhow, so it shows me exactly my entry signal. It shows me exactly how many shares I should trade. It shows me exactly, <laughs> right, uh, where to place my stop loss and when to take profits. And you see, this is something, I'll come back to you for a year for a moment, that's super important to me. For me, you have to take the guesswork out of trading because I want to trade what I see and not what I think. By the way, um, would you like a mug? Would you like one of these mugs? The first five to say yes, get a mug 
first five here say yes I'll send you a mug we'll send you a mug if you like it if you want it just want to make sure that we have some interaction here okay and I'll uh, call out the winners here in a moment as I said there's this 35 second delay which is a little bit annoying okay here we go half and a white guy okay you can stop right now we have uh, we have our five winners here so our five winners are half a white guy uh, your college course gosh you have uh, you all have interesting names so the <laughs> let me just see uh, then we have Ghazi Mahmood uh, we have Maribella Morales and we have Bill Scott um, here's what I want you to do uh, send an email uh, so if your name is half and a white guy your college course Ghazi Mahmood uh, Maribella Morales and Bill Scott send an email to Nicole at RockwellTrading.com with your address uh, and your real name so your college course give us your real name and say I was the college course so that we know this right only these five and we'll send you a mug here okay so I need to take the guesswork out of trading because whenever I thought I knew when to enter whenever I thought I knew when to exit this is when things went wrong so that's why let me come back here that's why I want the software to tell me exactly what to do so again this is my trading routine that's what I do and I'm using the software the Parvex optimizer and here's why Parvex optimizer answers the three questions that you need to master if you want to make it as a trader what are the questions again number one what stock to trade because every day I'm doing in the background we're doing six million calculations to find the best stocks to trade can you do this of course not right you need a computer I mean after all this is 2020 and we have powerful software that helps you to do this it answers the second question when to enter based on these indicators that I showed you earlier and it tells you exactly when to exit now here's two more things there's two more bonus things that this software does as well and that was super important to me as a bonus it also shows you how many shares should you trade because one of the biggest mistakes is to just trade oh let's uh, trade 100 shares of Apple and let's trade uh, I don't know 50 shares of Target and let's trade 200 shares of I don't know whatever right so it shows you exactly based on your account size how many shares you should trade and it shows you exactly what happened if you had traded the strategy and this gives you confidence let me let me show you what I, I what I mean so here for example let me, let me just go uh, through a few more examples of, of trades that I did recently so this here trucks as you can see was a long trade we want to buy and we're betting that trucks will go up and today it moved already 3.4 percent here's a few other trades that happened uh, recently TMST TMST was a trade that I did and uh, this was to the downside so here right we were betting on a falling market and here again with TMST that's where we want to look at the numbers if you had traded TMST over the past year according to these very simple rules that I gave you on a $10,000 position you would have made $9,045 you would have had nine loss uh, nine wins and seven losing trades that's a winning percentage of 52 52.94 and you see on average you would have lost 477 dollars uh, and when you had a winning trade you would have made 1378 dollars you see there's a detailed trading report that shows you exactly if you had traded this what would have happened and here's the big deal for me this gives me confidence if I know what to expect it is so much easier to trade when you know what to expect right because otherwise it's a shot in the dark and this is why this is so powerful so these are the bonus it shows me what to trade when to enter when to exit and it shows me how many shares based on my account size and what happened to give me the confidence here so this is the software that I'm using this is my trading routine that I set here right where I run the scanner 
I check for predictability and out of these two trades that came up today, oops, here we go, just go back here, right? We looked at NUS and NUS didn't have the predictability. It had these gaps and I don't want to do this, right? So um, I want to see that there's nice and small trends. So therefore I decided not to trade NUS and I decided to trade instead TROX, T-R-O-X. There we go, because there we had no gaps. This is why it takes me only 15 minutes to, <laughs> to actually run through these every day. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's even five minutes because that's pretty much it. Um, anyhow, so I, I see that there's uh, lots of questions, so I wanna make sure that I'm answering the questions. And I also promised you that uh, I do have a very special offer for you. So when you go to my website at rockwelltrading.com, you will see that PowerX Optimizer, the software there sells for $5,000. And trust me, it is worth every single penny. And here's why. I'll come back to you for a moment. I'll come back to you on the screen. Let me ask you this. If all the software did for you is find just, I don't know, four, five, six winning trades, and you see that on average on a winning trade, you make $1,000, $1,300, $1,400, would it be worth the investment? Of course it would be. If all the software did for you to make your, your trading more predictable so that it is not guesswork, that you know what to do instead of wondering what you should do, would it be worth the investment? Of course, right? But this is what I said today, I have a very special offer for you. And uh, if you think that this software is good for you, that, that you would like to give it a shot and give it a test until Friday. So for the next two days, for the next two days, the software is available for $1,997. So let me just uh, show you, there's a very special link that I have for you. It's rockwelltrading.com slash power. And I'll be right back with you to, to answer the questions that you have, but I wanna show you what exactly you're getting. So when you go to this website, rockwelltrading.com slash power, let me move this out of the way for a moment and then I'll bring it back here. So you get the software that scans over 12,000 stocks and ETFs. Let me come uh, get off the screen here so that you see it exactly. No BS results built in that you see exactly what would have happened if you had traded the stock over the past year with these simple rules. Eliminate the ego because trade what you see, not what you think. Entries, exits, stops, all are provided. It's a web-based platform means that uh, you can run it on your Mac, on your PC, on your tablet, on your phone, on your Samsung, on your Android, on your, on your iPhone, it doesn't really matter. And you can use any broker you want to place the trades. I don't care what, whether they use interactive brokers or Robinhood or TD Ameritrade or, or Schwab. And here's uh, what I will include when you take advantage of this offer by Friday. A three-day live trading event ticket. So I'm doing, and I'm coming back to you on the screen here for a moment. So every month we're doing a three day live event in various cities. This weekend we'll be in Houston. Uh, last month we were in Tampa. Next month we will be in California. After this, we'll see, right? Uh, then we are probably going more towards the middle of the US. Anyhow, um, and during these three days, we'll show you how to get the most out of the software. Now, usually this event is $2,997, but when you say yes, I want the software, you can get a ticket for free for you and somebody else. Bring a friend, bring a family member, okay? So feel free, two tickets are included in the price here. Uh, so you can check it out here, can see what others are saying about it. And yes, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So I want you to check it out, see if it does everything that I said today, I'm pretty sure that it will, not pretty sure, I'm sh absolutely sure that it will help you in your trading. This is why I'm giving this bold guarantee and say, yeah, try it out for 30 days 
I know that it will change your trading forever. <laughs> okay, anyhow, so how do you get there? Let me come back to you on the screen here. All you need to do is uh, just go to rockwelltrading.com slash power, or you can call or text my team. Uh, so 512-337-1885. So let me move this probably over here. We need to put it somewhere where it's not in the way because I want to make sure that I'm answering a few more questions that came up here. So uh, let's see. Oh, Lauren Sparrow. You said that you were first. Okay, Lauren, I'll send you a mug too. Lauren, please email Nicole at rockwelltrading.com. Uh, give her, her your address and uh, we'll send out the mark later today or tomorrow. Okay. Trade what you see, not what you think. Super important. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so Stephen is asking, does the software, let me uh, actually put this, where do I put this that it's not in the way? <laughs> uh, let me, um, I'll bring it back up here. So Stephen is asking, does the software so follow the same routine for options? Absolutely. Let me show you. Let me show you. So that's a great question because people love trading options, right? So if, for example, this morning, trucks, if you say, I don't want to trade the stock, I want to trade the option. Now, with options, there is three more things that you need to know. So this is why I recommend start with stocks, then move to options. Here are the three things that you need to know with options. You do not only need to know what is the underlying stock, when do you want to enter? You also need to know the expiration date, right? I mean, when, how long should you give the option? When is the best expiration? What is the best strike price? And how much should you pay for the option that you're not overpaying for it? Now, this is where we have the options tab. So for trucks, I want you to pay attention to this. And let me uh, get off the screen here so that you see it. So I want you to take a look here at the optimized options data. So there's two possibilities. You can either go for an in the money option, which is the conservative way to trade options or at the money. You should give it at least 30 days to expiration. Uh, the ITM in the money, a strike price of nine and don't pay more than 94 cents for the option. So if everything works out as planned at target, the option should be worth $5 and 42 cents. This means that you make $4 and 48 cents per one option traded. Now options are trading in 100 packs. So option trading in 100 packs means that if you're trading one option, so you're making $448. And the risk is 86 cents times 100, so $86. So here the idea is to risk $86 trying to make $448. Now here, on the other hand, you have the ATM, <laughs> okay? The ATM option here, you would risk seven cents, meaning $7 because they trade in 100 packs, trying to make $3.96. So great question uh, from, from Stephen here. Let me bring it back here. Does the software follow the same routine for options? Absolutely. Okay, so um, let me actually answer Billy's question here. Hold on. Now I'm getting a little bit confused. There we go. So Bill is asking, sorry, not Billy, Bill. Why do trucks have a nine to one risk reward ratio instead of two to one? See, this is why here you see the conservative way to do it, where you have a risk reward ratio of one to two. Now, here's the beautiful thing. Since we are using computers, Bill, we can go back and say, okay, so if he had, instead of 52 cents, what if he had risked 54 cents? or 56 cents, or 60 cents, or 70 cents. Would our results have been better? You see, this is where we can have the computer go back over the past year and for this stock for trucks, find the best, the optimal stop loss and profit target. And this is when you see the optimal stop loss over the past year would have been 73 cents. 
Now, does this mean that it will always be 73 cents? No, but it means that since over the past year, over the past 16 trades, it was ideal. It's very likely that it is still for today's trade, right? And also, we realized instead of making a dollar and four, could we have made a dollar ten? A dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars. You see, this is why we are doing the the six million calculations every day, and we found out, you know what? We can actually make almost five dollars, and this is why, Bill, our risk reward ratio here goes much higher instead of just one to two. That's why I said a minimum of one to two, because if you would only have one to two, you would already be fine. But why settle for one to two? if you can get one to six. And again, every stock is after, uh, different. That's why every day we are recalculating it to make sure that I have, for my trading, the most accurate data. And when you get the software, that you have the most accurate data. Great question here. Great question. Okay, so uh, let's see. Your college course says it takes us five days to get into a trade. Really? Why, 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 does, it get you, why does it take you five days to get into a trade? You, I mean, this morning I received the signal last night and this morning I placed the trade and I was in. So maybe I'm not getting it, but it doesn't take five days. It takes five seconds <laughs> based on my experience. Anyhow, good question here. Uh, so uh, there's another question. What is the link? Again, okay. So the link here, oops. Rockwelltrading.com slash PowerX. And let me actually come back here to full screen while I'm answering your questions. Okay, so we already talked about Stephen's question. We had that. Uh, so we can take this out of the way. Fantastic, okay. So Ray is asking another great question. Ray is asking, do you trade a stock when there are long bars or candles? See, I, I prefer not to, and here's why. When I see super long bars, let me see if I have, I don't have an example right now, but super long bars are pretty much like a gap. We'll talk about this, by the way, in detail uh, over the three days when, when we have our live event. So when, when you get the software and come to the event, I'll, I'll show you everything there in detail. And also with the software, you get 25 trading uh, training videos that uh, have many examples. So um, Ray, I don't trade a stock, but I don't have an example right now. Um, and of course, if I run the scanner tomorrow, then there will be an example, but a great question. Great question. Okay, good, 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 good. So, um, Maribella says, yes, I want the software. Fantastic. You know, call or text the office and they can help you with this. Or, uh, oops, there we go. Or just go to rockwelltrading.com slash power. And this is where you have the special offer. Check it out. You're going to love the software. I promise. All right. Um, still trying to find the best way to arrange all this on the screen here. Uh, great question. Your college course says it is for Robin Hood. See, I'm not a big fan of Robin Hood. I mean, honestly, these days, go, go with the real broker. Go with uh, TD Ameritrade or, or Schwab or Interactive Brokers or Fidelity uh, E-Trade. I mean, now commissions are zero everywhere. I mean, it's free. So Robin Hood did a great job of uh, starting this movement of commission-free trading. Uh, but I, I don't know what you're referring to. I'm using personally, I use interactive brokers and uh, interactive brokers doesn't have this this weird five thing day that you're referring to. Okay, good. Let's see if there is any other questions. Okay, Benjamin is asking what data feed is used with the software. Here's the deal. The data feed, uh, we are paying for this and you don't have to. So that's another great question. Are there any monthly costs? No, there's not. No, there's not, right? Uh, so since the software is on our servers and you're just accessing it through your browser, right? I mean, this is where you have a username and password. It's super easy, super simple. You don't have to install anything. So <laughs> this is the best ever. And whenever there's an update, you have it automatically. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to 
reinstall, there's a new update available, and then wait until it's downloaded and reinstall. No, you don't have to do all this, right? Uh, so we are getting the data uh, through a data vendor. So I'm paying for the data so that you don't have to. So it's only a one-time investment. It is not an annual fee. It's a one-time investment of $1,997 and no monthly subscription. So Benjamin, great question. Good point here. Okay. And uh, let's see, is there, let me see what other questions we have. Half of the white guy says, is there a percentage of swing you look for in the trends? No, I don't. I don't, I, I keep it easy. It's, it's really just, uh, let me show you a very quick visual inspection here. I just want to see that uh, it's nicely going up and down and up and down. So I'm not, you see, don't make it too complicated, trust me. Most traders are making it way too complicated. And because of this, they're getting confused. And when you're getting confused, that's when it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, a uh, great question, but no, I don't have a white guy. Okay. Good. So, um, Mark says, and I know that your name is Ricardo from Switzerland. So Mark says, great software, I have it. Okay, great. Anybody else here who already has the software who can share with others who don't have the software? What is your experience with it? Are you liking the software? Are you loving it? Uh, so help those who are here and don't have the software yet. What are your experience with it? Uh, just uh, let others know. I appreciate it if you're giving great feedback like this. Okay, good. All right. So uh, Mark was asking, is $1,000 enough to start with stocks? Does the software support that small account? Honestly, with $1,000, I would focus on options. And uh, personally, I think it would be better to start with $5,000. And here's why. See, Marco, we talked about it earlier. Um, what is the, the rule? Never risk more than what of your account? Never risk more than 2% of your account. If you have a $1,000 account, it means never risk more than $20 on any given trade. And you see, this means that uh, if you're trading options, you need to trade options that are 20 cents and below. So today's trade, for example, Trox, the option price was 94 cents. So you would risk $94 and on a $1,000 account, you should not be doing it. Again, it's a rule of thumb. Of course, you're an adult, you can do whatever you want, right? But but I highly recommend that you never risk more than 2%. Whenever I did in the beginning of my trading career, that's how I destroyed accounts. So that's a challenging thing for you, Marco. I mean, brokers will open an account with $1,000, but you're limiting yourself when it comes to trade. So I would say, probably 3,000, 5,000 is, is actually ideal. But yes, the software does support it. Of course, it finds trade, but you might not be able to take all the trades, if this makes sense. Good, 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 good. All right. I know that we are getting a little bit over time uh, because I gotta run here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pick the kids up from school. Uh, they they arrived with me late last night at, at 1 a.m. And I, I promised to, to pick them up today uh, because we had a, a great weekend there in Florida. They did really well. Uh, if you do have any more questions that I had, haven't answered right now, I just don't wanna go for too long here. So please feel free to contact the office, call them. Uh, 512-337-1885 or text. I mean, if you prefer texting, if you don't like talking to people, if you prefer to text, uh, just text that number, and somebody will text you back. There's actually somebody on the on the other side of the phone. Or when you already decided that uh, this software is for you, because you see all the feedback here um, from all the people who do have the software. So if you say, okay, I want in, I want this as well, rockwelltrading.com slash power. And uh, that's what I got for you today. So we, we talked about this uh, this coffee with Marcus on Wednesday. We, we did last week and uh, it's so much fun. And many of you asked, so how do you personally trade? And that's why I said, let's do it this week. I, I think we should do it again. What do you think? Next week, uh, shall we meet again at, uh, at three o'clock? Same time, same place, have coffee together. And uh, I'll share a few other things with you. <laughs> okay. And uh, 
don't know yet what we'll talk about. I mean, I'll look through all your questions here and see if there's any particular questions. Maybe we talk about uh, why I don't trade penny stocks. Maybe we talk about why I don't like trading Forex. Maybe we talk about what would I do if I had to start over, if you want to know that. Um, maybe we can talk about how to grow a small account, if that's what you want to do. Maybe we can talk about... Um, if you're 20 million, what would you do? We can talk about that. <laughs> so we can talk about a lot of things here. So I'll, I'll just send you an email and uh, this way you know exactly what link to click and uh, please make sure that you subscribe to this uh, channel here and uh, hit the notification bell because then also YouTube sends you um, an information whenever I go live and have more videos like this. Okay. Make sure that you show me some love, like the video, because this keeps me motivated to hang out with you, because I really enjoy this. I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoyed making this for you here and hanging out with you. And I'll talk to you very soon. And uh, when you're getting the software, I hope to see you very soon at one of our live events. Uh, maybe this weekend in Houston, maybe next week in California. Maybe the week, uh, the month after, not next week, it's next month. Uh, maybe in Florida, maybe in, I don't know, wherever we'll be. But we will, we actually plan on having more than one per month, just to make sure that we can get to all the places in the US. And yes, we are thinking about coming to Canada. It's not that easy to go to Canada. You have, Canadians have very strict rules and regulations which is great, but uh, we need work permissions and all this kind of stuff, but we are looking into this. Anyhow, have a great rest of the day, have a great afternoon, and feel free to share this video with, with anybody who might find this video helpful. And I'll talk to you very soon. Okay, take care.